So you are welcome to Atiku Memorial Farms. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to JK Farm, Sumanya. You are welcome to Sabado Farm. My name is Abel Tay Mensa of Tabe Farms. I'm the owner of the peace park where we are studying now. We have the almighty fruit fly problem. This fruit fly problem has been a major uh, problem. You know, we try to spray a lot of uh, um, um, insecticides. It didn't uh, alleviate it very much until they asked us to try the traps. Formerly, we've been buying traps from the stores in Accra. But as at now, we've been fortunate to learn about how to fabricate them on the field and then fix them. You need the bottles, knife, plan D, cotton wool, and then neutra, uh, metal eugenol. You cut this bottle like this. You frag the end for the fries to enter. When they get inside, they will enjoy the firmon, which will soon put inside. Yes. And the, what, the cotton wool will be just around the opening. We use plan D as insecticide to mix, to dilute with the neutral eugenol. Bring it. This is the Nuta Eugenio container. Nuta Eugenio entertains the true fries and the plan D kills them. And this material catches only the males. It leaves the females. And by so doing, all the females that comes around the bottle, you can see them flying. But the males die. The idea is we want to eliminate the males so that the females can live without males. But rather the females are growing too much in their numbers. So we are still looking for another alternative way which we will show to you later. We are going to search a trap to monitor the fruit fries. We have 40 trees per acre. So we set 20 traps to monitor the miners. So we always set them in the shady place so that it attracts them. So we set it under the tray. You throw up your rope and then you tighten it. You give it a space and you tighten it nicely because the fruit fries don't like sunny side, so you always put the trap under the shade so that you can attract them. So from here we leave one tray and then we go to the next tray where the shade is. We tight it. So normally we don't use this to solve the problem, but we use this to monitor before we do our final solution by spraying the bit. These are some of the fruit fries that we caught. And all this is after looking at it, then you see that there are more before you apply the bait to kill them finally. Three years ago, uh, this bait, great bait, was introduced. So when we tried this uh, bait, it worked very, very successful. You put the bait. Okay, we are pouring it inside. This is one part, so we are going to add three parts. Three. Fill the tip three. Is it full? Uh, 
and that this is going to be the last one. Operator, shake it very well. Shake the machine very well. Shake it very, very well. Oh. You need not to wait when the fruits are matured before you start protecting your farm. What you have to do is when it's about three weeks for the uh, fruits to mature, then you start the bit. But then you have already monitored the fruit fries mm -hmm. and the fruit, the trap mm -hmm. have shown you that they are ready. So now that we have seen that the fruit fries are mm -hmm. on the farm, we are going to start spray inside the corners. The what you have to do is spray a tree, three corners, inside, not outside, so that when it rains, it will not uh, wash away the, the bait. So you spray corners, not on the fruits, but on the spots. Count nine and come back. Have you read nine? Why? Why is the nine? Who can spray? When you start here, you spray this tree. The trees are in line. So you spray this tree, you count nine trees down. You spray again, you count nine trees down. Till you reach the last tree near the corner of the farm. Now you count one, two, three where you spray first. The third tree here, you walk without spraying the first one here. You walk and count five, uh, five trees down. Then you start your counting of nine, nine. Also follows like that. Then you see that the lines go like that. Chris cross, Chris cross, so that it take a control of every part of the of the farm. But above all that, we found out that basically the problem also lies with farm sanitation because we've discovered that the fruit fly. Um, it, if, if it pinches uh, the mango, it drops. When it drops, it's in the mango. And so when it f falls down, then they proliferate, they go, they come out again, and they grow into, it go into the papa, it comes to the fly, and then it goes up again and they manufacture. So if you want to break the cycle, one of the uh, factors for breaking the cycle is to make sure that what Whatever fruit falls down is collected and buried properly. Yeah, so these uh, polythene bags, uh, we, we, we take them round, we collect all the, the rotting fruit, put them inside. As you can see, we try as much as possible to keep the whole environment very neat. We have uh, uh, a, a small tractor with a slasher which weeds, keeps uh, slashing the farm. So everything is done. Some prefer all the time to be uh, harrowing and prowling the ground, you know. Uh, but uh, our problem is that you can see that there's a gentle slope down here. Now, if you try to keep the ground so bare, then you get a lot more of erosion. So erosion keeps it. So we prefer to be slashing, keep the ground like this. So with this, uh, you don't get uh, erosion. Uh, when the, uh, it rains, the roots and the, they, they, they check the erosion. We call it the rotting fruits, tie them. And if you leave them here, as a sun, you know, the insects, they all die inside. But of course, later, we come with a tractor, we collect all of them to a dumping ground, and we bury them. And then uh, we hope that by doing that, we break the cycle of 
the fruit fly going down and up. And this we are encouraging all members of our society, association to try to do the same. So if they are doing that, everybody is breaking the cycle, we hope that the population of the fruit flies goes down considerably. <laughs>